The kinetic energy of a satellite. A satellite of mass m is in a circular orbit around a spherical planet of mass m sub p. The kinetic energy of the satellite is k sub a when its orbit is r sub a. In terms of r sub a, what must, be, what must the orbit radius be in order for the kinetic energy of the satellite to be twice k sub a? Okay, so we have uniform circular motion of this satellite around this uh, spherical planet at a radial distance Ra from the center. We have the centripetal force, uh, the gravitational force. So therefore, in uniform circular motion, if we write the gravitational force Fg, which is a radial force, uh, universal gravitational constant, mass of the planet, mass of the satellite, divided by r a square. This must be equal to, in uniform circular motion, mass of the satellite, its speed squared, v squared, divided by r sub a. So these r sub a's will cancel. And I will find that the kinetic energy at the location r sub a which is 1 over 2 mv squared is actually equal to the gravitational constant g uh, mp times m mp times m divided by 2 r a so basically this is mv squared so i a introduce 1 over 2 here to make this the kinetic energy. Okay, now at a different orbit with uh, orbital radius r sub b, I have a new kinetic energy, which is twice the kinetic energy at the orbital uh, radius r sub a. So this is basically g mpm divided by r a and this is equal to uh, for the new radius g m p m over 2 r b so at the location r b now you can see that g m p m's cancel and i find that uh, 2 r b must be equal to R a. So for its kinetic energy to increase, the satellite must approach this planet to a radial distance, which is half of the original radial distance. So this should be equal to R a over 2. So we talked about the kinetic energy of a satellite, which has mass m, in uniform circular motion around the spherical planet mass mp. In uniform circular motion, we need a centripetal force, and this centripetal force in this setup is the gravitational force, which is g, product of the masses, divided by the radial distance squared, which is equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration, v square over r. So we can see one of these r's cancel, and I have an expression for mv square. So if I have one half mv square, that's the kinetic energy. So g m p m over two r a is the kinetic energy. At radial uh, position r sub b, this would be g m p m over two r sub b, and this must be equal to the new kinetic energy at position r b must be equal to twice that of the kinetic energy at r a, which tells tells me that Rb is Ra over 2, so the satellite has to approach the planet uh, for its kinetic energy to increase, so it will move faster.